minutes. Without objection. Madam Speaker, it seems that the Obama administration has set its sights on yet another target of potential dissension, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber represents roughly 3 million businesses, with more than 96 percent of its membership being comprised of small businesses of 100 employees or fewer, the very backbone of our economy. The Chamber has expressed concern regarding various proposals, such as the regulation of greenhouse gases and a government-run health care plan, policies that, if enacted, would ultimately devastate small businesses across this country. It appears that the Obama administration is actively circumventing the masses of members within the chamber to try and craft side deals with a few individuals in an effort to persuade defections. It seems that it's all part of a grand strategy to marginalize a well-respected organization with legitimate policy differences. When Barack Obama promised a new kind of politics, I don't believe a divide-and-conquer strategy based simply on, dis on disagreement with the American people is what the American people had in mind. I encourage the cham chamber to continue to stand up against anti-business policies, regardless of political pressure. The millions of businesses, many of which are, are located in my state and congressional district, will be grateful for their resolve. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose is the gentleman from Rhode Island rise? Without objection.